Coming to you live from Southern California. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And on the mound in this one, Griffin Canning. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here's a speed threat, Gunnar Henderson. The shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. And a 1-1. One -one. Just Whoa, off the outside down. part of the plate. Ground ball, Sano. Over to first. Out. One out in the top of the first. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So... You know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. That one lifted to left. Moniak sizes this one up, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is, that is an excellent pace. Ryan two outs, base is empty. O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. That one's in there, and a count one and two. Outside. And a pitch. And there's the ball. Now a screamer into the outfield. Adele puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. Back in Anaheim, and our pitcher tonight, Grayson Rodriguez. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout. This one blasted deep to left, way out of here. Home run. He made him pay for that one, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with Snackcast. Flushed, they were just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Next to hit, number 18. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Always exciting to see a laid off home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Tried to check his swing there. Appeal to third. No swing. Hey. Struck him out looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to nope. think he was okay. looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. The pitch. That That's misses the, the zone. Three balls and a strike. Three balls, one strike.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Miguel Sano. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one missed. Ward leads off first with one away. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Next one just yeah, misses. And the count's full. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, no, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Next offering is down low. Right-hander kicks deals. That's in there, and it's two and two. Up the middle, Holiday. They get the force, and that ends the inning. Halos strike first with the solo shot. It's now one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. Now it's the DH, Anthony Santander. The pitch and that is in for a strike one and a count one and two and that one is inside Carl Dixon working the plate in this one you know we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire but boo Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most he's kind of tight on the corners so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. On the ground, into the outfield, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That is it. The center fielder, Cedric. Cedric Mullins, Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Runner at first with no outs here. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's filled up. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And ball four to a board. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. And now, Colton Kowser. Line drive, base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And one and two. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And here is Heston Kerstad. And a ball evens the count. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning-inning double play, Boog. 
ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in, fires to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. That's all he needed, just a simple base hit, and he drives in two in a huge spot. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. On the ground, two ball. Quickly to second for one. And that's two. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Orioles two and the Angels one. Bottom of the second. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. The catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. The 1 1. Late with the swing there. Two strikes. The wide, the kick, and the one two. And downstairs. Yep. Sends him down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Joe Adele. Up the middle and he knocks it down. Tosses to first, two up, two down. Batting eight, the second baseman. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. In the dirt. The throw to first. Angels retired. One, two, three. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Out to short. Tosses to first, oh. and a quick out number one. Now batting, catcher, Adley Rutschman. Here's Adley Rutschman. Glide out his first time. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He nope. is at the top of the game. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. Yeah, We're bad. seeing more fastballs in that location. Anthony Hitters, especially Santander. with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. That's nope. off the that's mark. And yeah, that's ball two. Two balls, one strike. That one fouled off. Two and two. Rutschman, the runner at first with two gone. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Orioles two and the Angels one. As we go to the last of the third. So in now for the Angels, number nine. Pitch is in there. That's strike two. Righty to the plate. Fly ball down the line. Kowser moving back for this one. Makes the grab. And there's one down. The center fielder, number 27. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mike Trout. He's already homered in this game. 
great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. Next pitch is popped up. Westberg gets under it. Hauls it in to a layer. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right the there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down two to one. Out of the fourth, here's the center fielder, Cedric center Mullins. Fielder, Cedric Mullins. The 1-1. One -one. You know, these Orioles do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. That one is absolutely belted. And it one-hops the wall. And he'll pull into second safely. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after a contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Righty delivers. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And now the count filled up three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And here it comes. Fights it off, he'll see another. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. 3-2 now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Runner leads away at second. Got a good eye there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jose Suarez up and throwing. Strickland getting loose as well. At the belt and fires. Well struck left field. That one back. And that is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. Dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. Heston Kerstad, the next to hit for the Orioles. He drove in two with a single his first time up. Check swing. Went around. One and two. Good eye right there. Still only one out here in the inning. The next offering misses. Full count three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher 
a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Strike two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. That well, one misses. Right. Two and two. Kerstad, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The batter, number two. And stepping in is the Gunner. speedy Gunnar Henderson. And it's through for a hit. Oh, he throws it away. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Jose Suarez gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Digging in, Adley Rutschman. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and one now, two aboard. There's a strike. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And he deals. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Got it by him for the K. The two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now... Back here at Angel Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Taylor Ward. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown <laughs> inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. That cutter right there had just now enough that. movement on it to get the That's swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Next one off the plate inside. Ball three. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking. Make sure that they don't get any confidence. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. That's in there, and now two and two. On the ground to third, and that's a fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. He's in there. Love well, how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. <laughs> and here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. His first at bat was a strikeout. Moniak at second with two down. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 now count right. kind of tells right. you that that's the pitch he has no. the most confidence in right now. Oh, no. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now the right fielder, Joe Adele, grounded out his first time. Bounce to the right side. 
Sends it to first, and that's the inning. Angels strand a couple, and they trail it 4-1. Ready now for the fifth inning, and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan O'Hearn. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. That's a ball. You know, these Orioles putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. 2-2 Two -two now. On the ground to the left. Sano throws to first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batting, the designated hitter, Anthony Santander. The wind and the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Number nine should have this one. Makes the catch for the out. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The 1-1. One -one. Right side. Adele moves under it. He's got it. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they lead it four to one. Welcome back, bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Next pitch misses, three and one. You know, these Angels just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Ground ball to the right side. A dive, nice stop. On to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Nice dive and stop right there. Gets the out, great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number nine. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. So the lineup flips over. Here's Trout. 3 1 is on the way. In there at the knees for a strike. Three ball, two strike. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. There's nothing cheap the about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Angels strand one. And this is still a 4-1 ball. Back in Anaheim. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. And now two and one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. And a pitch. Stays alive. That one hit to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now 
swing and a miss as he one chases ball. that one darting out of the zone. Next That's one misses, two and two. And down on strikes, and there are two outs. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Orioles, Heston Kerstad. Ball to strike. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Jose Cisnero on a pitch here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. One left for the Orioles as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Now it's the DH, Taylor Ward. He's 0 for 1. The 2-1. That's ball three. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Yoannis Cano getting ready to go. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, buddy. Mike Bauman gets the ball now. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Next offering upstairs. Well, knowing that this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. 3-2 now. Right-handed reliever. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Roll to short. Could be two. Feeds to second. Out there. A double play on the first battery. Faces in relief. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play, and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. There's the strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Now Just kept it simple. Catcher. Played Pepper with the middle oh, yeah. of the infield and took it back oh, where it came puppy. from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. Back to the mound. On the run. Throw to first. That's the inning. here at the ballpark all set for the start of the inning here's the Orioles leadoff hitter Gunnar Henderson the shortstop Gunnar Henderson puts it in the air out towards left center Moniak under it hauls it in for the out Adley Rutschman the next to hit for the Orioles a strikeout and a walk In for a strike and a count one and two. And 
And that's outside. <laughs> Towards first. Rutschman retired. Two outs, bases empty. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan O'Hearn. Two one now. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering okay. upstairs. Fouls it back with two strikes. Now a swing, and O'Hearn sends this one high in the air and deep to right field. That one back there bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Joe Adele. Here comes a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Kowser gliding to his right, calls it in, and there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front now on that pitch away and base. wasn't able to stay close. And next for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The 1-1. One -one. And that yep, misses off the out. outside edge. Swing and a ball popped up. Westberg under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two down. Now back. The shortstop. And the batter will be the shortstop. Number nine. The why to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. And that's Ball off that the inside edge. And now three balls and a strike. Mike Trout waiting for a turn at the plate. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. Santander. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And out of here. Anthony Santander knocks one out. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-1. He's going to have nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there. But even a better swing at the plate. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Adam Simber. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number and into the box for Baltimore, Adam. Cedric Mullins. Simber. Simber is ready. Falling behind 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. And that's too Three high. Balls, one strike. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pitch was now on the outside. Didn't the go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Stepping in, Colton Kowser. The 1-1 is fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
Gets under and pops it up. Ring Hifo puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The batter, the third baseman, Jordan. Man at Westberg. first, Jordan Westberg now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Simber picks the first. Mullins back in on a dive. And the righty deals. Gets the outside corner with that one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 5-1. Back after this on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Yoenis Cano. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. Movement in the bullpen. Keegan Aiken is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Two two now. Hard ground ball, base knock. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you can tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Number 18, the next to hit for the Angels. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Ripped on the ground a second. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Taylor. Next is the designated hitter, Taylor Ward. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Henderson pulls it in, and there's two away. Miguel Sano, the next to hit. Two outs. And another ball. Trap on third with two out. Hard hit, left side. Zips it to first. Inning over. Angels leave one. They're down here, five to one. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the second baseman, Jackson Holiday. Holiday. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. To third. Tosses across oh. the first. Now one gone in the ninth. Gunnar Henderson digs in now. That All one two. missed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks 
Jackson misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Way out front for strike two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. And a pitch. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Slings it across, out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Orioles five and the Angels one. Johan Ramirez comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now the batter now, Mickey Moniak. Next pitch Whoa, is inside. Man. Two and one. And a foul ball. Got him. And there's one down. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohoppy. Logan Ohoppy. Next pitch no. misses inside, and it's two and one. Right hander kicks deals. Slider misses outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 3 1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. The 3 1. And yeah, there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Craig Kimbrell into the game. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Good eye in that spot. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2-1. Got him. Out number two. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's a bad he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Now it's the shortstop, number nine. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ohapi at second. Adele on at first with two down. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two on, two outs. High fly ball, right field. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can lead to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Orioles. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Angels, one run on six hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.